first YouTube video live recording from our new house. I haven't really decided like where I want my setup to be. Like last time, um, like at our other house, I did all my unboxings at my kitchen table. Um, but here is going to be my September unboxing. And let me just say the shipping ordeal is getting a little out of hand. Um, it took 12 days again, just like last month to get my order here. And it's ridiculous, like unacceptable. My order is not super exciting this month. It's a lot of necessities and I was trying to stay on a budget. Already next month, my order is getting out of hand. I'm definitely going to hit the 300 PV promos next month, so stay tuned. Um, this month, I was not excited about the promos really. Um, basically, what I do every month is I try to kind of plan my order around the promo. So Valor was a 300 PV promo for a 15 milliliter. I had to have that. So, you know, I like went ahead and probably got some things that I didn't need right away, but I was gonna need soon, um, that kind of deal. But like, if it's a month where the promos are not good, I'm like scaling back. I'm like, what's the bare minimum that I need? So anyway, this month I was good with the 190s. Those were good promos. The 250, I do not need a cooler. That says Young Living on it. The 300, I was interested in the 300, but like, I was I didn't need like I didn't need it the M grain oil I didn't need it and also I, I didn't have enough stuff that I had to get so anyway I got the necessities this month so this may or may not be a boring haul to you if you watch regularly but if you don't you might learn some things so I'm gonna start with supplements because those are the basics the three things that I've been obsessed with lately supplement wise I've been taking Super B for probably just under a year oh it was hat day of school by the way that's why I'm wearing a hat I don't normally wear hats but um super b i've been taking for probably about a year um i took it started taking it a few months after my daughter was born and i was like super mama tired all the time this stuff is a game changer for energy like i feel like i notice a huge difference in when i'm taking this and when i'm not taking this that's why this whole shipping thing's really throwing me off i'm like uh my supplements run out after 30 days so i need these to come in but anyway i hadn't run out of any of these yet so that was good um, so yeah, Super B is for energy. Life 9 is what I've been taking, the probiotic, um, just to really, like, help my, improve my gut health, and, um, like I said last month, if you watched my, um, haul, I have started taking it because I have Crohn's, and probiotics are supposed to heal your gut. So, these are great. You gotta keep them in the refrigerator. That's the only thing that bothers me because I can't put them in my pill container, but whatever, that's being nitpicky. Um, and also in her defense, I normally only take this like in the winter months from like, I'd say probably October, November to February, March ish, but I've been taking this since like July, knowing I was going back to school. Um, when I first started taking it, I'm going to be honest, I did notice I was like burping up thieves tasting all day, but I literally don't notice that anymore. And it might be because I take break or I eat breakfast, like right at the same time as I take my medicine in the morning. Um, who knows, but yeah, this has been great. I haven't gotten sick, so knock on wood. Hopefully this is helping. I like to think that it is. Um, all right, this was one thing that I like couldn't go without. So I guess I really didn't realize how low my foundation was um, when I ordered last month. And then I would like got in a pickle. I was like, oh shoot. I, I almost did a quick order for this, but it's like $45, the Young Living Savvy Minerals Foundation. And so I was like, I really want that to go on an ER order so I can get points back and it can go like towards getting free stuff. So I did wait. I was scraping the barrel, y'all. I'm so glad that this came back. I really wanted, really, really wanted to try the liquid foundation that came out at convention, but I got the color matching swatch and I think I need ivory. I'm pretty light, but I think I need ivory and ivory is still out of stock. On What's New Wednesday last week, they came back in stock with quite a few that have been out of stock, but not ivory. So here I am still foundationless, um, but it's fine. I do really like the, um, the like powder foundation. I use Warm 2. Um, I also use the bronzer. I use everything, seven minerals. I use the primer, the foundation, the bronzer, the mineral veil, the, the concealer. I really do like the concealer. I use that like on my acne that I'm getting from these masks, which that's another topic for another day. But um, I don't wear eyeshadow. I don't use their mascara or eyeliner just because. 
it takes up like no space so i feel like it doesn't toxify my body too much i don't know i could be wrong but yeah i use the spray i use their brushes pretty much everything except for my eyeliner and my eyeshadow um so there's that i'm excited that came in threw in another thieves mini baby hand sanitizer i'm pretty sure when i ordered they were out of the big one but i'm gonna need a big one soon um oh and that reminds me i was gonna say earlier when i was talking about my order for next month what i do every month is as soon as i place my order for like this current month, I go in and delete the things that I know I'm not gonna need next month. I keep in the things that I know I am gonna need next month. So every month I keep all the supplements and I keep the sleepy eyes for Emma Jane every single month, those never come out. But then like if I order a stress away, I'm not gonna need another stress away next month so I would take that out or whatever, you know? Well then as I think of things or as I run out of things and like realize that an oil's gone or whatever, I go in and add it. So that way, at next month, like I don't have to think, oh dang, what do I need to get in my essential rewards order? It's literally already all there and I just press process now. I normally process on the first or second just because I get so excited about the new promos. <laughs> but that's why I was so disappointed this month because they were kind of eh. But I'm hoping normally what I've noticed, a trend I've kind of noticed, is that if there's a really bad month of promos, in my opinion, that the next month is normally pretty good, in my opinion. So solely solely opinion based but anyway um so i keep these on my lanyard i already put that in my car um i'm a teacher i keep it on my lanyard at school I use it all the time that's great oh my gosh this is another thing that i was like completely out of the satin mint face scrub like this stuff lasts for a long time um but i was like doing the pounding it down like open it up like cutting it open scraping the inside it was like almost like legit out this time um so here's my philosophy on the satin mint face scrub this stuff's amazing and i'd heard somewhere that you're not supposed to exfoliate every day so i was like not using this every day but it's my favorite and you know what it's the simple things in life that you have to do because they get you excited and you know what this is one of the things that gets me excited so i use it every day normally normally on a normal day i only wash my face once i know you should wash in the morning and the night, but I don't, okay? So if I'm washing after, like if I'm taking my makeup off, washing my face, if there's makeup on my face, I use this. If I'm washing like at night before I go to bed and I don't have any makeup on, I use the Orange Blossom face wash, just cause I feel like I don't need like an exfoliant if I'm just washing to like get it clean. But like if I'm getting makeup off, I feel like the little beads are really good to like help me get makeup off. I don't know, this stuff is just like truly the best. It's only like $17. It looks small, it's only two ounces. It looks like travel size, but it legitimately lasts forever. It's totally worth the $17, get it. Oh, I briefly talked about this, but kids sent sleepy eyes. I get it for Emma Jane's every night. She, I put about four drops in her diffuser every night. We were very out of that, so glad that's back. Let's see, got another orange, cause y'all know I use this all the time. I just throw this in every single blend. And now our new house has stairs. So I feel like I need duplicates of every oil so I can have one upstairs and one downstairs. My husband does not agree with that theory. But anyway, I was, I, I have a little, like I have a five milliliter orange downstairs and it's like almost out too. So what I'll probably do is fill up the five milliliter with this one so I can have one downstairs and then take this one upstairs so I can have one upstairs. There you go. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's see. Oh, this always happens to me. I get cut off because an alarm goes off my phone because I have to set alarms for everything. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to edit this and I could just upload it. Here we go with the editing. Whatever, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, these two are for Emma Jane's babysitter. She just orders things through me sporadically because she likes to. But anyway, um, Thieves and Citrus Fresh, these are musts. When I, when she was contemplating about getting Citrus Fresh, I was like, oh, I'll bring you mine so you can smell it. And I realized mine was almost out. I really don't use Citrus Fresh, fresh a lot. So I almost ordered another one, but then I was like, I don't use this that much. And I was just like trying to stay around the 190. So I was like, that'll push me over. I can save that for another month. Um, and so I took it out of my cart, but my Citrus Fresh is almost out. But like I said, I don't really use it that much. I don't love it. I don't know. It's just like something about, it's like all the citrus oils, I think, and a spearmint, spearmint in it. And the spearmint just throws me off. Like, I feel like if it was only citrus oils, I'd be good with it. Let me tell you what's in it. Orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, mandarin, orange, and spearmint. 
If the spearmint wasn't in it, I feel like I'd like it a lot more and use it more. I don't know. It's it's good. I like it. Not my favorite. And then Thieves. I really did need to get another one of these for my house. I'm almost out, but I can push till next month. So it's in my order for next month. Basically next month, it's just gonna be like buying all the things. Um, and then now for the freebies. I'm not even gonna talk about, and by not talk about, I mean I am gonna talk about the fact that Young Living got rid of the 100 PV promo tiers. Emma Jane. Emma Jane, no ma'am. She's getting into things because she knows I'm distracted. No ma'am. <laughs> She's like. Um, Young Living did get rid of the 100 PV promo, which is super annoying because that was the best. But whatevs. Now they have free shipping at 100 PV, which I do understand like some people legitimately would prefer to have free shipping. So that's fine. I had already paid for the Young Living Go Plus, so I was getting all my stuff shipped for free, but like I, like I had to pay for that. So I got refunded for the rest of the year that they like bought out or whatever, and now all 100 PV orders are free. So that is good, that's good. But I love getting the free oil, I don't know. It's just like a mind thing. It's probably like it equals out to be the same, but whatever. Um, now shipping's free and then I can buy my own free oil, whatever. Okay, anyway, sidetracked there. The 190 tier was Purification, which my aunt called me the other day and she was like, my new favorite oil is Purification. I like it, but it's not my favorite. It's not like my go-to. It ha it works good for specific purposes. Emma Jane has hijacked the Apple TV remote and is now trying to turn on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. You don't know how to turn that on. You don't know. She's like, mom, she's like handy. I just have to show you how cute she is. What are you doing? You wanna watch Mickey? Like, oh, turn on Mickey. Dang, she's already got it queued up and everything. Hey. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I'm sidetracked. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, purification. Um, it has specific purposes. Like, I definitely, like, will thread this on a cotton ball, put it in the bottom of my trash cans. It keeps them smelling fresh. I just don't love to, like, diffuse it. It has lemongrass in it, which my husband's obsessed with. Chris, come smell this. I, want, I can't remember if you like it or not. I feel like you do. Purification. He won't smell it on camera. He's so sneaky. No, yeah, he loves it because it has lemongrass in it. I'm not a huge lemongrass fan, but a coworker of mine, a girl that's also on my team, did bring up a good point the other day. Lemongrass is one of the oils that you can only use, a, you can just use a few drops of it and like it smells up the whole room, which is great. Some oils you have to use a ton for it to be able to really smell up the room good when you're diffusing. So anyway, there's purification. Got it for free. I'll always take a free oil, whatever. I don't care what it is. The other one that was free that I'm super excited about is... Copaiba, Copaiba, Co. How do you pronounce it? Copaiba. Chris thinks it's Copaiba, and then somebody on my team says Copaiba, and he thinks that's wrong. But anyway, I've not ever smelled Young Living's Copaiba, Copaiba. Sorry, hold on. I'm gonna go get my other one that I have, so I can do a comparison. I have DoTerra's Copaiba, and I need to do a smell difference because some of their oils. Sometimes they smell like exactly the same and sometimes there's a major difference. What is the one oil that I had at doTERRA and like Young Living smelled so much better? Oh my God, hold on, I had to think about that. It was Cedarwood. I had Young Living, or I had doTERRA's Cedarwood and I did not like it. And then I got Young Living's Cedarwood and I'm obsessed with it. Very different smelling. So I'm gonna smell my doTERRA papaya first. It's, not, it's very like earthy, musky, woodsy-ish. Not really woodsy, more earthy, musky. Okay. I think this smells exactly the same. The doTERRA one smells a little bit stronger. The Young Living one smells like a little spicier. This smells like it's got a little spice in it, like a little cinnamony aftertone. I'm not getting that with the Do doTERRA one. This one's definitely stronger smelling, the doTERRA. Young Living's it's more subtle. I don't know, I'm excited. Basically, I can keep now, I can keep the doTERRA one in Emma Jane's um, diaper bag because this is great for teething. And now I have one to use for diffusing. That's Young Living, so exciting. Anyway, there's my haul for this month. I tried to make it a little more exciting by throwing in some good commentary. I don't know if you thought it was good or not, but. There's my haul for this month. Stay tuned for October's because it'll be a good one. I'm excited. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop them below. Bye.